Hello, good evening everybody. It's Jean Brittingham at Captain Stitches and I'm here in the Stitching Cottage this evening to share with you the week in review. What I've been doing the past week here at Captain Stitches and maybe a few things of what may be coming up. So come on in, let me share with you what I have been able to complete and do a little work on this past week. Um, first of all, if you remember this little project of the embroidery work in the shape of a Christmas tree. That is the number that I pulled from my UFO inventory. I was able to complete the stitching on that, got the borders all around it, and I am starting to hand quilt that. So that project is coming along. Hopefully by the end of the week, it will be completed. So that is one of the thing that, things that has been going on. Uh, one of the other things, sorry, trying to find room to set the stuff as we go along. One of the other things is this little quilt. Also completed. It's one of the old ones brought out to finish. It's a little um, posy patch quilt. Will look nice sitting out on the back deck and I am presently stitching down the binding on the back of that and then it will be complete and can be used to wrap up in on some of the cooler as we go in from spring into summer evenings while sitting on the back deck. So that is underway. The binding, as you see on the mystery quilt, is still being put on that quilt. So that is also in the process. Um, and in The Long Time Gone by Jen Kingwell, that you know I have been working on. I have the first one, two, three, four blocks complete. And number five which is a little mini trip around the world that I completed just today. Went on a little impromptu live and showed how I use the web stitching method to um, put this one together, which this is a 13 inch block that has 189 one and a half inch squares in it. So that is that. And if you wanna look at the back and see how neatly pressed that is, that is that block and I am ready. We'll be cutting out yet this evening um, the next block because I'm one block behind. I have to play a little bit of catch up. Had a few things going on this week that set me back a little bit, but the next block I will be cutting out is this one right here. It is called plus a star block. And then the one below it is the churn dash blocks. So those two I will be cutting out and working on also. So that is coming along very nicely. I think I still have about 10 or 11 blocks to go on that before they start getting put together into the quilt. Um, one of the other things that I've been showing you and worked on a little bit in the live to show you part of my process is the needle book in the slow stitching and it is coming along uh, not a lot done on the front yet I have completed some of the parts that will be on the inside there will be a bunch of uh, the blank spots that you see will be filled in with um, other embellishments um, embroidery stitching that type of thing but so it is it is also coming along and have been working on that Oh, let me see. What do I want to go to next? Oh, we had a vote last week on which uh, foundation paper piece project that I should start working on. And the one that won the vote was the wedding ring. I have all the fabrics I need for the inner part of this pattern, the, the wedding rings and the applique, which I've decided I'm going to do in batik fabrics because I have a rather huge stash of batik fabrics that I don't have anything else in mind right now so I'm going to use those but I do not have a background batik fabric so as soon as I can either get to a shop and find uh, 
some background fabric in boutiques that I like for this, or I can find some online that I trust to order. As soon as I get that in, then I will start working on, um, it's actually called a garden for my wedding ring foundation paper piece pattern. And this is a Judy Niemeyer pattern. So thank you everyone that voted on that. I really appreciate that. And that is the one that I will be starting on. One of the other things that I did, and I can't actually show you, but I did, I did have a little short that I put on it as I was working on part of it, is I have a really large drawer that is right below me here underneath my, um, my cutting uh, surface here that I put all the fabrics in that are leftover scraps that I keep on hand for when I'm doing applique. And it was getting a little bit out of hand. So I decided to go ahead and pull all of that fabric out of there, sorted it all by color and put into the little, oh, you've seen them, the little white plastic um, trays that you can get in different sizes in the uh, kitchenware department at Walmart. I got some of those. So those are all sorted and put nicely away in there now so I can just pull out the trays, sort through what I am looking for at the time on applique and not have quite such a mess in that drawer. Happy to have that done and over with. <laughs> Looks a lot better, I must say. Uh, and while I was in there, there are some of my, my odd um, specialty rulers that I don't use all the time, don't use frequently, so they're not stored with my other rulers up over my cutting surface. And I came across this basic X ruler and it's for two and a half inch squares, which I have a lot of two and a half inch leftover strips. So I thought, hmm, I remember at the time that I got this, it didn't seem, and it comes with some patterns and whatever in it, if I can get this open now, but it's this little ruler that you use after you do what they show you and demonstrate with your two and a half inch strips. And then you make cute little, cute little quilts with it. And there's also, I notice another pattern that I must've gotten along the way that also uses that ruler. So I'm going to take the time this week and I'm going to look this over and I'm going to see just exactly how this ruler really works and see if it's something that I like or not. So that will be coming up this week and I'll let you know whether I like it or I don't. And also in there was this little circle magic small template from Missouri Star Quilts for making the round type quilts. So I'm going to see if I have an interest or not in really using that ruler. So those are some things that, you know, when you're in your sewing room and you're doing things, there's a lot of, a lot of treasures we find that we forgot about. And those are two that were in that drawer. And I thought, okay, it's worth checking them out and see whether I like them or not. And then I have, okay, a couple other, which this is one. Um, I belong to a couple, um, don't belong to, I'm in a couple sew alongs in a couple other YouTube groups. And one of those is, um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Kathy's Quilts and Crafts. And each Monday of the week, they teach a block and this will be this Monday's block. So I have that all cut out, ready to go to join them tomorrow as they teach that block. Um, also, let me pull from the bottom here. This is some of the stuff that I got this week that I'm going to show you, which I purchased the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book. And um, in that same group, Kathy will be uh, having us stitch along on the blocks for Farm Girl Vintage 2. And we are starting with the Autumn Pumpkin block. As far as I have right now, are my fabrics chosen for that? I do not have them cut out yet, but I will have those cut out and that block completed before Wednesday because I believe that is the day that we will start the next block. So I will get caught up in that before Monday. Some of the other things that I received in the mail is I also love beading. So I received this beaded embroidery stitching book. It has beautiful, beautiful methods and ideas for using beading and showing you how to do it in um in the stitching products I'm not stitching yeah stitching slow stitching projects and i also got 
holiday hoopla, which um, one of the uh, newer YouTubers that I have come across out there. Um, oh, I can't think of the complete name of her group right now. It is Sarah. I'm sorry, Sarah. I just went chum right out my head, but it's something sewing along with Sarah along those lines. But I will, I will drop the link for that in the description box below that um, you will be able to check out and see. But she did um, a sew along with Pat Sloan out of this book and it was the library quilt. And she made some really neat and unique changes on that. So that drew my interest and I'm going to see what I can come up with on what she has shown in some of her videos to do that quilt. So that is why I got that. Um, and I also, I don't know how these things happen, but they do. Got talked into purchasing Log Cabin with a Twist block. And as you can see, this is really quite, quite the work in some of these. So I will be looking through that and checking it out. And the lovely Primitive Quilts magazine that I subscribe to came this week also. One of the other things I saw in another group being used was this little, um, it's called a super clip. It looks like this. And instead of using paper clips, it has a nifty, which I used on here. It dispenses these nifty little clips and I put it on the side because then I can open these patterns just like a book instead and leave them all attached instead of having to remove the paper clips. So I thought that was a really cool idea. Got me one, got me some of the refills for it. And that is really handy. I will also uh, drop the information for that in the description box so you can check that out. And then my husband came carrying out this box, which I know a lot of you recognize this box. And I had this, you know, look on my face like I don't understand why I'm getting a second Fat Quarter Shop sampler box because I'd already gotten mine for this month. Well, to my surprise, when I opened it, because I didn't look at the label really closely, and I won't show you that because it has my address and the sender's address on it. But when I opened it, I was surprised to see that it is from one of my good friends, Blondie, if you are watching, thank you very much. But she sent me this beautiful, and it is not, it's not a new one. It's one that's been in her collection for a while. And I don't know if she is aware or not, but it is, um, the name of it is Snow Blooms by Kansas Troubles from Moda. And Kansas Troubles happens to be one of my favorite, favorite fabric designers and I have more of her fabric back right there go the right direction right there and some over there in my in my stash so this will be put to good use thank you very much Blondie I appreciate that so so much and a total surprise because I could not figure out what I was getting in a soul sampler box again this month so that is everything that I have received, the things that I have worked on. Um, the only thing that I really have to report on that is coming up this week is it is time to start the net we have done. I have given the Facebook group, which my Facebook group is Friends of Kept in Stitches, Quilting Stitching Bee. And you can find the link for that in the description box below if you would like to join but we are working on a sew along that is tabletop turnabouts from uh, Jan Paddock and they have been given step one and step two so it is time for step three which step three will be actually tracing around your templates preparing to cut them out on your fabric already pressed on your fabric showing how to draw that line around them for the needle turn applique and then cutting them out so that will be shown and there will be a pdf to download with that information sometime this week don't have an exact date yet but look for it that will come out this week i'm not sure yet whether i'm going to do a live whether i'm going to use um tip demo tuesday as a demonstration for that or exactly how I'm going to do that, but that will be done this week in 
that type of format. So watch for that and I will drop that information in the Facebook group so you know where it will be this week and when, when I know that definite date. So that is pretty much everything. I do have a huge, and I mean huge, almost too big for my long arm, quilt loaded on the long arm. That is mine. I think I um I showed that also in a short. The name of it is Be Sunrise Beyond, and it is an old thimbleberries pattern from 2005, and that is being quilted on the long arm. So hopefully that will be off this week also, and I'll be able to show you that that might be a little hard to hold up because it is a very very large quilt but i'll get a picture of it somewhat and be able to share that with you so that's everything that's been going on at captain stitches this past week um i will say because i'm not sure exactly how things are going to go in the next couple days because i did have a little health issue setback and um, that has caused me to be behind in a couple things. Um, playing around with some new medication also that had a very, 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 very bad reaction to. And I'm still adjusting to having the bad reaction to that. So if things aren't on schedule or you don't see me someplace I normally am this week, just keep in mind that I'm dealing with it okay. It's just I may have to take a step back you know, a time or two during the week until I adjust and am feeling myself again. So thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, please be sure and hit the thumbs up. And if you're watching this video and you like the content, content you've seen in other of my videos and haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you get notifications when I drop new videos and you will be notified of upcoming videos when I go live by clicking that bell. Please be sure and do that. Thank you. I enjoy and appreciate each and every one of you that stop by to see me every week in my videos and during my live chats. Thank you very much. Have a great week, everyone. And remember, I can keep you in stitches. Bye-bye.